Families in Scotland hope that 2023 will provide answers to their prolonged search for missing friends and loved ones. In Tayside and Fife, there are a total of eight individuals who have been missing for an extended period of time, ranging from weeks to years. The region also has several of Scotland's longest-running missing person cases, including a man from Fife who has been missing since 1998, Alan Bryant JNR. Alan Bryant Jr., a 23-year-old man from Glenrothes, has been missing since November 3, 2013. On that fateful night, he was last seen leaving a nightclub in the early hours of the morning and has not been heard from since. Despite extensive police investigations and emotional appeals from his family, there has been limited progress in the search to locate him. To shed new light on this case, The Courier has released a documentary called A Short Walk Home, The Disappearance of Alan Bryant Jr. The documentary takes a comprehensive look at Alan's disappearance and the events surrounding it. Alan is described as a white individual, standing at 5 feet 6 inches tall, with a medium build and short brown hair. He has blue eyes and tattoos on both arms. It has been nearly a decade since he was last seen, and his family and friends continue to hold out hope for his safe return. Ian Moat. Ian Moat has been missing from his home in North Grimsby, Arbroath since August 12, 2007. Despite ongoing efforts by the police, no information has surfaced that could help trace his whereabouts. At the time of his disappearance, Ian was 36 years old. Ian is described as a man of substantial build, standing at 6 feet 4 inches tall with brown hair and blue eyes. He has several tattoos on his body, including a panther on his right arm and a tribal design on his back. The last time Ian was seen, he was wearing a light gray hooded top, a green and white hoop Celtic football shirt, combat trousers, and white trainers. Nearly 16 years have passed since his disappearance, and the authorities are still searching for any information that could lead to his location. Ian's family and friends continue to hold out hope for his safe return. Alexander Sandy Joseph Clark Alexander Clark, a man from Kirkati, has been missing since 2013, and the authorities have been searching for him ever since. At the time of his disappearance, he was 37 years old. The police have been working tirelessly to find any information that could help trace his whereabouts, and they hope that the missing piece of the puzzle will soon come to light. On May 4, 2013, Alexander was last seen leaving the Victoria Hospital in Kirkati, walking east along Hayfield Road around 2 a.m. Despite extensive efforts by the authorities, Alexander's whereabouts remain unknown, and his family and friends continue to hope for his safe return. The police are still searching for any information that could lead to his location, and they urge anyone with information to come forward. Kenneth George Jones The authorities have been searching for Kenneth George Jones since 1998, when he was last seen at the age of 18. On the day of his disappearance, Kenneth left his home address at Ancrum Court in Glenrothes at around 7 a.m. and has not been seen since. The Fife Missing Person Coordinator, Sergeant Peter Wordy, has said that this case continues to be reviewed regularly and that Kenneth's mother and aunt have not given up hope of finding him. The Missing People Charity has been working closely with the family to try and keep the disappearance of Kenneth in the public eye. Recently, an image has been produced that gives an artist's impression of what Kenneth may look like today. He would be in his 40 seconds now. Sergeant Wordy urges anyone who recognizes the image or believes they may have seen Kenneth to contact the authorities as soon as possible via the number 101. The search for Kenneth continues, and his family and friends hold on to the hope that he will be found safe and sound. The authorities are determined to solve this case and bring closure to those affected by Kenneth's disappearance. Paul Johnson Paul Johnson, a 74-year-old pensioner from Fife, went missing in September 2021. Despite extensive searches in St. Andrews and the surrounding areas, where he was known to enjoy walking, Paul has yet to be found. A year has passed since his disappearance, and Paul's family continues to search for answers. In a statement released to mark the anniversary of his vanishing, the family expressed their continued hope for Paul's safe return. They said, It never crossed our minds that a year after our wonderful dad, husband and granddad went missing, we would still be searching for answers. We are holding on to hope and moving forward. Anyone with information about Paul's whereabouts is encouraged to contact the police by calling 101 and quoting incident number 266 of September 16, 2021. Peter McGuire Peter McGuire, who was 21 years old at the time, went missing on Wednesday, January 27, 1993, from his home in High Valleyfield, Fife. He was later spotted on the same day, leaving Carnegie Swimming Pool and Dunfermline. Despite the extensive investigation that was launched to search for Peter, including the recovery of his car near the Fourth Road Bridge, there have been no further sightings or information about his whereabouts in the nearly 30 years since he disappeared. The Fife Division of Police Scotland has continued to work on the case, trying to piece together any information that could lead to finding Peter. Detective Chief Inspector Kelly McEwen of Police Scotland has made a public appeal for Peter to come forward if he becomes aware of this appeal. The detective has assured Peter that his location would not be disclosed to anyone against his wishes and that the case would remain open until proven otherwise. The missing person case continues to be a source of heartache for Peter's family and loved ones, who still hope for answers after all these years. Robert Watson 
the search continues for 51-year-old Robert Watson, who has been missing from Arbro since November 2, 2021. Despite extensive efforts from the authorities, Robert remains missing and his whereabouts are unknown. In an effort to piece together information about Robert's whereabouts, officers have conducted various investigations and inquiries. They have discovered that Robert's phone was found in the King's Drive area and was turned into the local police station. Additionally, it has been established that Robert was last seen in the King's Drive area at approximately 10.30 p.m. on November 2. As the search for Robert continues, police are asking anyone who has seen him or has any information regarding his whereabouts to come forward. They can be reached by calling Police Scotland at 101 and quoting incident number 1002 of November 3, 2021. The disappearance of Robert Watson has been a concern for his family and loved ones, who remain hopeful that he will be found and safely returned to them. The police investigation into his case will continue until there is proof to suggest otherwise. Alastair Blith the case of missing Dunfermline line man, Alastair Blith, has remained open for 33 years, with police continuing to search for answers regarding his disappearance. Alastair was last seen on December 23, 1988, when he was on a work night out as an ambulance driver. He was reported missing after he was last seen leaving the city hotel on Bridge Street at around 10.30 p.m. Despite a thorough investigation carried out by the police, Alastair has yet to be found. Despite the passing of 33 years, the case remains a long-term missing person case with Police Scotland and they are still hopeful that someone may have information that could help lead to his whereabouts. A Police Scotland spokesperson stated, We would encourage anyone with information about Alastair's disappearance to contact police via 101. We will continue to keep the case open and are hopeful that one day we may be able to provide answers for Alastair's loved ones.